Uh, so Big Labruski coming at you with another double review. Today I'll be reviewing uh, Harp Logger, uh, and Robert will be reviewing Fire in the Eye. Fire in the Eye, baby. Fire in the Eye. Right. Oh, just uh, just to let people know, we're uh, outside Elliot Eady's house. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, we're outside Elliot Eady's house, so we're calling him out. We're gonna call him out, and we're gonna we're gonna feature him in, the, in maybe a video or something. But uh, so uh, let's start off. Uh, Harp is uh, five five zero. It's about 500 milliliters. And uh, what's yours, Robert? What's fire in their eyes? Uh, you got your fire in their eyes. It's uh, 6.1. It's fire. It's fire, baby. It's, yeah. We will be up. Oh, it's we up. You know we up. You know we up. So, uh, uh, as you can see, we're clearly sponsored by Billy Talent. Uh, specifically, their newest album, uh, Billy Talent 2. Um, just got to let you guys know, uh, they're paying us approximately $5,000 for these beers. And mention the name, so... Uh, listen to Billy Talent. Listen to Billy Talent, baby. Uh, so, um, uh, let's uh, crack it open and get a whiff. Uh, Big Labruski, we don't like to drink out of glasses. We like to drink out of cans because uh, it's the it's the natural way. It's the way nature intended it. Okay, so uh, before you drink it, uh, get a whiff. Get a whiff. It's got a nice uh, barley sm smell. Mine smells pretty... Oh, oh man. I've done that way too many times to in beer. Uh, it's pretty malty. Um, it's uh, it smells like a it smells like a devil in a midnight mass, uh, but not in a good way. Uh, so uh, all right, let's dive in with a, a, a taste full of tasties. Uh, so so for uh, harp harp lager. I'm getting about, uh, I'm getting like a, like a, a standard generic lager taste, like nothing special, but with a bit of like a, a bite at the end, and it's kind of like a combination of malt and hops. It's really weird. Yeah, it's really, it's a really, uh, it's a really, uh, it's a really, it's kind of a sus taste, but I would, I would, I'd fuck with it. If you're looking for a middle beer in between your strongest beer, and your lightest beer, I would go for Harp. Harp's a good choice. Uh, with a uh, fire in the eye, you know, you get what you pay for for a 6.1. It's strong. It fills you up. Makes you feel good inside. It's uh, puts the fire in the eye. Wow, how convenient. But uh, so far, yeah, I'd agree. I'd fuck with this beer as well. It's a beer you can fuck with. But uh, so, anyways, uh, Harp. I'd give it approximately. Um, uh, I'd give it about four faxes out of no, you know what? I'll give it three fax, three and a half faxes out of five faxes. It's a it's a decent beer. I'd fuck with it, but I'd have to think about fucking with it before I fuck with it. And uh, first sippy review for Fire in the Rye, I give it uh, four faxes out of five faxes. All right, Big Labruski coming at you with another double car review. Like, comment, subscribe. I'd like to thank my boy Robert for uh, feeding in this video. You know. You know that we up.